to the Easy Rider Saloon, park the RV, start setting up everything and unpacking. We set up the sound system so we could play some music to the people around. Um, a little live music as well that first night, it was great fun. Um, showing off the product a little, pushing our social media out there. Oh and we do of course have one secret weapon when it comes to grabbing the attention of people. So I decided to jump on the longboard and go and explore the streets. I mean, you can look at the websites and you can look at the hype before an event like this about how many people are going to be there and how many bikes, but you're truly not prepared for how that translates on the ground when you get there. You stand on Main Street and you look down that line of bikes and it's just breathtaking to see that much love for something that so many people share. So we were immediately excited and we knew we just had to get pivot heads on some of these bikers while they do what they love. Three, two, one, trouble. So we got some awesome footage and some incredible feedback from the riders. We showed them their video when they came back into town and even on the bumpier roads they were really impressed with what they got video wise. So we saved everything up and uh, decided to head out and see what Sturgis was like during the day. Uh, all of a sudden we're confronted by dirt bikes in the air so we had to slide on over and see what was going on and here we truly saw how awesome POV filming really is even when you're shooting with a, an SLR. It's just a really honest feeling perspective. So we got a little closer to the action. Ah, oh, there he goes! Cowboy, get walking down and we saw the uh, monster tent and we were really lucky to catch up with Jason Britton and Eric Hollenshell before they were doing a stunt show. So we uh, asked the guys, they were really great and said they put the glasses on. It's recording, I think. Yeah, of course. It's flashing red light. Yeah. To say that we were happy with the results and the footage that we got from these guys is the understatement of the year. seconds of this event I think you realise you're you're in the midst of something truly unique. You're constantly being introduced to the most friendly people and the, the biggest characters. After you so freaking cool it's unbelievable. All the while you're doing it in the middle of one of the most beautifully picturesque parts of the world. We've been looking for an excuse to head over to the Buffalo Chip because everybody told us you can't come to Sturgis without going there so when we heard about a tattoo artist that would be really interested in wearing the pivot heads to do some of her work, we jumped at the chance, grabbed a rental car and off we went. So then we met Nikki Singh and when it comes to tattooing, she is, for want of a better word, a boss. Nikki spent the 2012 rally as part of a group of tattoo artists that the Buffalo Chip had invited from all over the country to come and ply their trade on anybody lucky enough to get an appointment with them. And as you can see, Nikki had a lot of fun wearing our pivot heads and filming the crew from her point of view. And it was this US Navy tattoo that Nikki was working on that would get the pivot head treatment. So now you get to see it her way. All right, you ready? So Nikki finished off the masterpiece and we left the Buffalo Chip thrilled with our new footage to get ready for the evening performance that we do on top of the RV where I perform some blues, some beatboxing, try and mix some styles of music and of course any excuse to set those pilots off. Now, I've been known over the years to spin a bit of fire. So having the opportunity to perform that kind of art here at Sturgis was absolutely fantastic. 
reception from there down there was awesome. Now plan would find this much did attract the attention of the Sturgis police, but that turned out to be a great thing. I'm Ben Mom and I'm Nelson Grant. And we're with the Sturgis Police Department Bicycle Team. And now you're gonna see the streets of Sturgis our way. But Ben and Nelson were really great about this. They they wore our glasses and they took us around the streets of Sturgis showing us how they patrol during the event. Making sure nobody's drink driving, making sure nobody's endangering other lives with weaponry, and just keeping everyone safe. And then I met two more Sturgis police officers who said, Would you like to come up to the Corbon training facility and see how those pivot head glasses work when they're looking down the sides of a fully automatic weapon? I'm Matt Veal. And I'm Cody Lofta. Let's head up to the range so that you can see it our way. This was a seriously fun day. Some things that happened to us at this event were Brett Wagner from Speed TV and Pipes, his partner in hosting at the Easy Rider Saloon. Now, they introduced us to Frank Fritz from American Pickers, and he walked away from the event with his own pair of pivot heads, so keep an eye out for that. Now, apart from all the really cool random footage they got us from behind the scenes, they got us hooked up with Hells of Popping, a fantastic sideshow group. Besides the nail board guy, who's just something else to watch. Amazing guys. I mean, there was this awesome fire breather. Okay. They've got sword swallowing and even then they managed to throw in a little fire breather. Three, two, the guy who likes to do this with drill. Yeah, that's in his nose. You know, we got to see how packs and musicians and themselves behind the scenes to truly get a point of view feel. So props to Brett and Pipes for giving us enough amazing behind the scenes footage of awesome acts and musicians to be keeping us busy on YouTube for a really long while. Now, speaking of amazing musicians, Kasim Sultan from Blue Oyster Cult contacted us and said he'd really love to explore the idea of true point of view video filming at events just like this where they were performing a free concert. So they invited us to chill with them in the green room, had a great time with the guys, an amazing group of people, and we put pivot heads on all of them for their concert. Now, when the point of view footage from this concert drops, it's going to be amazing. And it's an incredible way for us to finish out our Sturgis adventure. Everybody knows I'm here. Cheers.